Now we want to talk about the latest on the Santa Fe school shootings. Today, Governor Greg Abbott plans to begin a roundtable discussion on how to prevent gun violence in our schools. Teachers will return to Santa Fe High School tomorrow. Students are not due back until next week if they feel comfortable returning. And all of this is as we're learning more about the timeline of Friday's deadly shootings. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon joins us live now with the newest developments in the investigation. Roseanne? That's right. Students are expected to return next week on Tuesday. Meanwhile, investigators are moving forward with the investigation. They say the shooter is currently on suicide watch. This is what we know. We're learning more that 25 minutes officers kept the shooter pinned inside a classroom. More than 200 law enforcement officials responded. The suspect now charged with multiple counts of capital murder sits in jail. Meanwhile, one student, Isabel LeMann, says she and eight others hid in a classroom's art supply closet hearing gunshots. The officer who first contained the shooter, Officer John Barnes, remains in the ICU after multiple surgeries. The heroes from that ISD engaged this individual at approximately four minutes and stayed engaged with him, keeping him contained and engaged so that other heroes that continued to arrive could evacuate the teachers, the administrators, and the students from this, from this school. While investigators are still looking for a motive, all eyes are on officials, many asking what more can be done. Governor Greg Abbott is calling on school administrators, teachers, and law enforcement to come together today at the Texas State Capitol. It is the first of three roundtable discussions this week to talk about prevention and best practices regarding school safety and security. The staff will return tomorrow. The students again next week. Those students will have extra security and counseling resources available. Reporting live from Santa Fe, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC Channel 2 News.